a quick one. This is what I call sink and float. I wrote submarine down next to it. I probably won't use that title. <laughs> sink and float. So, this may be a advanced, or it may be dead easy. It all depends on your condition, you know, at the time you try to do it. So it's a real natural technique in a way. Just uh, plop down in bed, you know, dead tired. Bed or, you know, an easy chair or comforter or something. Something you can drop down on, something you won't roll out of or fall out of. And just let yourself sink down into the cushion. You know, feel the gravity on the body. Feel yourself sinking back, like, into the void, you know. When I was a kid, I used to do stuff like this. I used to, like, feel this rapid falling backwards. I don't get that anymore as an adult. But it's kind of that same idea, you know, like just kind of fall backwards. And I fall backwards into, like, a heavy state. I feel my weight into the cushion. I feel my weight sinking down to this center, you know. And I, I imagine the center of the earth is my ultimate goal to sink down to but basically I sink till I stop you know and then in a different way I float back up and I can't float up with the same feeling I had sinking down sinking down it's a real physical heavy feeling but floating up it's almost like a more intellectual like an idea more than an actual feeling so it's a lot lighter you know you're going down heavy and you're picking it back up light and then stop and notice the feelings you've had notice the uh, difference between rising up and sinking down and what kind of feelings you're able to get notice stop and then if you feel like it repeat for one or more cycles of this it could be several cycles. And you can do this with or without a pranayama type practice. So you would lay down, collapse into bed, slowly exhaling your breath. And uh, Casey Carr says something about the bottom of the breath. And there's something to it where you exhale all your breath. At the bottom of your breath, you can. Sometimes to get out, you know, that's what she says. There's definitely a feeling at the bottom of the breath. So that's what I do. I often I lay down, I collapse, I feel my weight collapse into that mattress or cushion or whatever I'm collapsing into. I just feel it, you know, I'm wanting to get to the center of the core of the earth, just all that heaviness and mass and weight. And my breath is ending at that point too. I'm running out of breath. Slowly exhaling with no stress, though, just slowly getting rid of the breath. And you may not be able to do that at first. You, it may be best to lay, you know, plop down and let your breath normalize before you try that. Because you simply won't have the breath otherwise. So, I suggest, you know, plopping down, normalizing, thinking about it, and then getting into this. And like I said, it could be easy or it could be difficult. This is actually kind of an advanced technique, but probably anybody could do it if they're dead tired enough and just want to plop down in bed and, you know, feel it. Drop it. Let go. Just sink. And then when you're sunk to where you're going to sink to, just kind of float back up. Almost like an idea. Because it won't have the same feeling. You won't feel that heaviness. You're going to leave that heaviness down there. Some of it, anyway. Interesting one to play with. It'd be interesting to know how people feel about it, and if they have any interesting results. <laughs>